said yesterday you guys were going to be careful early on with Alex day games after night games. Right. How does that affect tomorrow's lineup? Well, it depends on what happens tonight. You know, um, if we get this through this game tonight, we'll probably see Paulo Orlando making his debut tomorrow. Um, Alex sat down in about the seventh inning next to me. He said, look, he said, if my wrist feels this good, he said, I'm not going to need any days off. But still, I'm going to probably err on the you know the side of caution with him because you can get into a point with that where um, if you push it too much, you know it takes two or three days to recover. If you do it smart, you can find days, and they'll always be against tough left-handed pitchers. You know, probably uh, if he's if he was feeling good and they had a right-hander going, you know, we probably would maybe push him that one day. You know, a day where they're you know pitching a guy like Danks that we haven't had much success against. Uh, it's a good op a good opportunity to get a small Orlando, but we'll just see what the weather is. Are you expecting to get this one in? Yeah, I really have. I mean, I was just looking at the weather. The south's kind of coming from the south of us, but I think it's got a chance to miss us. So, uh, you know, again, we'll just uh, you know, we'll just go with it and see what happens. Something about the day game after night game thing. Uh, maybe this is a day to day thing, but do you have a sense for how long you're going to have to sort of? Think I don't think long. Or? You know, again, it's just you know. Um, getting that strength back to 100% in his wrist. And when he has enough recovery time, when he shows up, it really feels good. You know, what, what concerns me a little bit is, um, you know, he doesn't have that 24 hours to recover uh, on that wrist. Um, so, but we'll see, you know, he's a guy that can play, as we all know, through a lot of, of pain. I just don't want to put him into a situation where, um, like we got into, at the end of spring training where he started the game and felt great, a night game. Uh, and first at bat ripped the single to left field and then it started getting sore and sore and sore and then we had to sit him out for two days. He was actually ready to play the third day. But, you know, we wanted to double make sure and test that he felt pretty good and then played, you know, the day after that. So, again, I think we got to be mindful of the fact that we can set him back for a couple of days if we push him too far. So, again, I think it's just important if you're going to err, err on the side of caution early until he gets that strength built up 100% in his wrist and he's ready to go. And 